So our study is really the first time that a single antibody has been shown to provide post-exposure protection of mice from multiple Ebola virus species, the Zaire species and the Sudan species, which are two of the most pathogenic. The current vaccine that's in clinical trials and the current uh, antibody therapeutic, uh, those are both very specific for one uh, species, which is the Zaire species but of Ebola, but there are actually four other species, two of which, uh, Sudan and Bundy Bugio, uh, have been known to cause uh, large outbreaks and are also uh, pathogenic to humans. Um, for those two species, there are no therapeutics available. Um, so we think what's um, really important is to try to develop therapies that could uh, cover multiple species because it's difficult to predict not only where outbreaks will occur geographically, but also what species is going to cause the outbreak. So it would be much better if we could have a single therapy that could be used against all the Ebola species. I can show you how we created the antibody. The surface of the virus is studded with these envelope glycoproteins and they're really important for the virus's ability to infect the cell. And different species of Ebola virus have different glycoproteins. So I want to show you another view of the glycoprotein. What's shown here in yellow is the Zaire glycoprotein and here in red is an antibody that binds to it and prevents it from infecting the cell. Shown here now in magenta is the glycoprotein for Sudan and it also has an antibody that can bind to it and blocks its ability to enter cells. So what we did was we took the Sudan antibody and linked it to the Zaire antibody to create a combined Zaire-Sudan antibody. And then we shipped them off to our collaborator, John Dye at the US Amrit, who has a high containment facility. And in two separate experiments, he tested to see if this single antibody could protect mice from either the Zaire virus or the Sudan virus. So he challenged the mice with a lethal dose of the Zaire virus and then gave it this combined antibody and then in a separate experiment challenged mice with a lethal dose of the Sudan virus and then gave it the same antibody. And what he found in both cases was that this single antibody was able to protect against both viral species. Typically therapeutics in the filoviruses, which include Ebola virus, they're tested first in mice and then they are tested in larger animals and it's usually a very long road before we can figure out if something will be effective in humans. So the next step would be to test these in larger animals. But I think that you know, ultimately the um, therapeutic that would be useful uh, against uh, multiple Ebola virus species will be a cocktail of antibodies. So the next question for us as well is what other types of antibodies can we create and how will they behave uh, in mice and how can we combine them with the one that we created to potentially develop a broad therapeutic.